All right, continuing our uh, snakes of the southwest. Uh, by the way, that's what this has become. I, I realize that basically the rattlesnakes of southwestern United States. This is uh, Crotalus stevensi, or a speckled rattlesnake. Uh, these were also uh, fairly common in different areas of Tucson in the southwest. If you, of course, knew where to go. Primarily lizard feeders, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they took birds that hopped along or came close enough, and uh, certainly uh, any any mice, field mice, and such that they came across. Uh, these would sit down in a little uh, sort of uh, pits on mountainsides and hillsides where erosion was taking place and you'd get uh, this little pile of, of granite gravel and you'd be surprised how well they can uh, blend in on that. I remember a lot of these animals when they were just little tykes and uh, this is the first time I'm seeing them in quite a while. Uh, none of us really drive around uh, and take our, our snakes for rides and stuff. This is a special occasion that uh, Bob and I have been talking about doing for a while because so many of you asked uh, to see some rattlesnakes. Uh, so I, I try to oblige and, and Bob's uh, nice enough to, uh, to bring his critters by uh, for a rare visit. Here's another beautiful example of the smaller forms of rattlesnakes in the desert southwest area. This is a, uh, a rock rattlesnake, Crotalus lepidus, and they come in a whole variety of different flavors, and I'm sorry, I don't know the locale that this animal came from. Uh, unlike our European counterparts, that doesn't seem to be a, uh, a big uh, uh, thing here in the U.S., uh, obviously, touching her back end didn't get her to turn around like I wanted her to. But uh, these are another small species, mountain species, high altitude, high elevation for the most part. Say hello to the camera, sweetheart. Uh, you can see those big uh, dilated pupils uh, right now, which means that she's very apprehensive and would. Uh, uh, put a bite on me in a heartbeat if I got too close. These guys uh, live in little uh, rocky uh, crevices on mountains and catch lizards and insects and stuff that will go by also uh, whatever sort of nestling birds they can get and uh, small mammals. But this is uh, you can tell he's uh, well fed by his chubby little tail back here. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, these do have a tendency to become overpriced, uh, uh, but you don't see really nice specimens like this all that often. Uh, again, there's not a lot of bite information on Lepidus, but uh, I guarantee you, you'd be in a world of hurt. Um, I know, actually, there's mm, a fatality on record, I think. Uh, well, I'm sorry. A couple near fatalities, uh, but mostly due to uh, uh, being sensitive to the venom itself. Um, And there's no information at all on how crowfab works on this particular species. Uh, you know, these smaller montane species, they don't really run the uh, 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 inhibitions that are necessary to uh, calculate how many lethal dose uh, of venom it can counteract. <clears throat> but you see, I cleared the deck for our little uh, uh, rattling friends here. <coughs> I wanted them to have free reign and some room to, uh, uh, to maneuver and not like my normal 
uh, follies with the lipids uh, through cans and bottles and whatever else might be on the top here. I saw a, a bunch of lepidus once at the uh, uh, the Rattlesnake Museum in Albuquerque, New Mexico that seemed to develop uh, tumors on the top of their head. Didn't seem to affect them uh, but would have this uh, rather large pronounced lump on top of their head uh, but didn't seem to uh, adversely affect them. It's quite different uh, than my usual crazy alapids out here on the tabletop. Um, she's, uh, he's just fairly calm, just sneaking around, picking up the different scents that are here. Cordulus lepidus cam. Okay. That's Cordulus lepidus. And this little guy with the piece of substrate hanging from his lip is uh, Crotalus pyrus. Another one of the speckled uh, group. That's hanging from his nose. Hey Bob, why don't you uh, reach right down there while I have the camera here and uh, you can pluck it off his okay. nose. Don't put his mouth. <laughs> put him in my mouth while I'm at it. Well, yeah, I mean the Hopi Indians, uh, you know, jump around uh, and do their ceremonial dances uh, uh, with uh, the Hopi rattlesnakes in their mouth. Uh, not my idea of a party uh, that I want to go to. Um, Bob, down there on the cup, just give me a pair of forceps and I'll, uh, I'll attempt to extract the, uh, since this is my facility and these are rather short, I'll, uh, yeah, I know, am I pissing you off, huh? Okay, I think that got it? Yep. Okay, yeah, the rules of my house is that I'm the only one that's allowed to get bit here. Um, so I do all the dangerous things like pulling substrate off the uh, face of the pyrus here. Anyway, right, this is another uh, southwestern species. You can find these quite nicely up near Phoenix. Uh, up in the Superstition Mountains. Hey, bud. Uh, touching them on the tail doesn't quite have the same reaction as if you touch one of my mm, puff adders on the tail or, uh, or one of the mambas. I see your, uh, your pyrus is going to uh, tempt the gravity well here, which consumes lots of snakes. He still has a little hangy thing. You know, that, that's a good question. People say to me all the time, Bob, aren't you worried about them eating the substrate? And I generally reply, well, there isn't someone to look over their shoulder in the wild and pull all the debris they get in their mouth when they're catching natural prey. Um, I think the, the issue that some people are having, you know, they claim compaction of substrate material inside their snake is actually their snake is poorly hydrated and can't deal with the substrate although I will admit if you get enough of the woody substrates in there and you add water they'll swell um, but you certainly don't want to try to have your snake ingest uh, uh, extra substrate but properly hydrated, um, they should, uh, it should not be a problem. I use a number of substrates in this facility and have never had a, a bowel impaction or anything like that. 
uh, because I take the time to hand water as many snakes that will uh, take water uh, directly from my hands and from my squeeze bottle. That way I know they're getting uh, proper hydration. At any rate, this, uh, this is a little pyrus. It's a screamer. Um, he is just adorable. And he sort of has the little coontail like your big old Atroxes have in, in Tucson. Uh, that was what that is absolutely one thing that I miss. Uh, no reason to keep uh, rattlesnakes in your house uh, in Tucson because uh, probably a good uh, 10 months out of the year you can go out and uh, if you know where to look uh, you can find them with uh, uh, very little trouble. A matter of fact, you know, I've, I've found them even crawling through my property uh, at various times of the year and that's always exciting to come out your front door and, and find a rattlesnake there. Uh, but I had all sorts of interesting critters uh, roaming around my property from regal horn lizards uh, to red racers and of course the occasional uh, bull snake. Uh, I've caught long nose snake on my property when I lived in Tucson. Night snakes virus snakes, and of course uh, mostly Aatrox uh, because I was sort of in a, a plain like area and there was some hills nearby but uh, uh, might have might have saw a big uh, uh, a big Mojave at one time too. any rate this concludes our uh, rattlesnakes of the southwestern U.S. for the most part. Somewhere down the road we'll uh, do another rattlesnake feature where we'll uh, include some other species from other areas. Meanwhile, uh, we'll uh, watch the little buzztail buzz. Special thanks uh, to Bob for uh, bringing the animals over and uh, sharing them with us. I don't uh, get to play with rattlesnakes all that often, but they're certainly uh, my first love. Uh, especially the northern timber, which uh, uh, I know firsthand what it likes to, uh, uh, to be envenomated by one of those. Uh, well, that's another story for another time, but uh, uh, rattlesnakes are certainly uh, one of the more advanced forms of uh, venomous snake on the planet. Pit vipers and uh, uh, these guys, you know, that rattle also have a warning uh, uh, apparatus. Uh, so they don't have to use their valuable venom for uh, warding off uh, 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 predators or uh, anything that might uh, squish them.